Hi friends, welcome to Arc Tutorials. Today we will learn how to install Angular application. This is the first tutorial of the entire series of full Angular tutorial by Arc Tutorials. If you haven't subscribed us yet, I request you to kindly do that so that you can take advantage of all other videos that we are going to release soon. Let's get started. Uh, what is Angular? Angular is one framework for both mobile and desktop. It's a framework provided by Google. So you can write pretty much any web application or mobile application using Angular. So this tutorial, we will build an application, which is a live example to help you proceed with any of your queries or doubts you have in building an Angular application. So this is the official website, angular.io that you're looking at right now. And you can learn more about it, the theoretical details, I'll not go into that. I want to be a, a hands-on tutorial for you. So I am using Visual Studio Code, so you should also use that. And the best thing is you can now get started with this tutorial easily and without any difficulty. So once you have installed, open the terminal that you would see here um, in your screen, or you can select a new file folder and select the file folder that you want to select on. So I've selected mine, I've called it YouTube series. This is since this is the first tutorial of our series, Angular series tutorial. Let's get started. Uh, so the, there are certain things that you should do first, which is first check the system requirements that we need. So what are the system requirements? The first requirement is to check that you have Node installed on your machine. So to check that, just say Node-V and you should see that there is a Angular uh, Node version that it is showing, which is version 12.2.0. So we are good and this, help, this will help you to work with NPM, which is Node Package Manager. So we will learn about it. So let's get started and Let's get started. I want to show you simple documentation. How do you install it and how do you create new project? Uh, this entire thing is uh, totally for absolute beginners. So let's go to setup. I want to help you and show you how things work. So the first command that you should do is npm i or you can either say npm install, whichever is fine. So you say angular i at the rate angular slash cli. That's the command you would use to build a brand new Angular application. Welcome to the first tutorial on Angular series. We are building the, our first application. First, we need to download the Angular CLI tool, which will help us even better to build the application. Let's get started. So once it would, it may take a couple of uh, may take a couple of seconds or maybe minutes, depending upon the bandwidth you are on. But it should take it should not take a lot of time. Once this is done, you would see that uh, there is there's a lot of dependencies that it would install along with the basic CLI, which is command line interface tool of Angular. And we will also be covering uh, the entire main stack, which is MongoDB, Express, Node, and of course, Angular. So once you see it has been in it, and now we have our project also that you can see. So there is a package and there is node modules that's there. So this is good. So when you see this step, the first step is done. The second step is to actually create our application. So for that, now you would see that I'm using the command ng, which means now the CLI knows that there is a command line interface for Angular, so we can work with ng. So we will type ng, let me clear it for you. Now we will type ng, that is for Angular, we are telling we want to create a new project. And let's just call this first, app right and you can give any name that you want you can call it to-do list or if you are building a, any application let's say project management or agile board so as part of this we will be building an agile board so i'm giving the name ng new agile board and now you would see that it would generate auto generate a lot of files but before that we need to provide our requirements so would you like to add angular routing yes we want don't worry about Angular routing. I will cover that in coming tutorials. For now, stay with me and let's click yes. And it, then it would ask you what type of style sheet you want to use. Do you want to use CSS, 
SCSS, SAS, less stylus. So I'm going to stick to SCSS. That way we can parameterize and I'll cover some of the tutorials on SCSS as well for you. So let's select that option. And you would see that a lot of files have been auto generated for us. That saves a lot of time and effort for us. So you would see that uh, there is a lot of, I will explain you the architecture with some details, but this tutorial is just to show you how to get your application up and running quickly, right? So it may take again a couple of minutes, but once it is done, you should see here on your left hand side that the, the project structure is created with all the required dependency files. This is the important folder for development, which is source file. Under source file, you'll see app folder. That's where all the magic will happen. That's what our, we are building our app. You would also see there's an E2E uh, folder, which is used for writing end-to-end -end tests. Uh, we'll cover that also in our coming tutorials, but this is a, just a first step. Uh, we are just starting with setting up our environment for Angular application. So it's okay if you don't understand some of the structure details. I will show you some of the uh, ones which are important to understand. So Angular is entirely built on architecture of components that make up an application. So it's a components. So we write a lot of components instead of writing one big bang application. That's pretty much uh, the typical agile uh, mode of writing. So you start with um, writing components and those components are reusable, saves a lot of code, easy to maintain, easy to test and helps a lot in distributed developer environment. All right, it's taking a while, but we'll have to be patient. So, okay, so once uh, this is done, we would see uh, all the required modules are also installed along with it. I think we'll give it a minute or so, but I would want you to see some of the important files here, which is package.json, which would have all the description about the application and the project. Uh, I'll show you that once the installation is complete. Uh, we would also have something called angular.json, which is very, very important file for us again. So these are some of the important things we'll just see in a bit. Alrighty, so we have successfully initialized the kit also automatically and the installation is successful. We can see the commands are there. We can see a lot of files have been created. We will go into that in just a bit. Let's clear this screen. All right, so you can see this is the project name we gave agile board and then we have source folder under it we have app and that's where all the magic will happen but without anything since it's your first step you're trying to learn angular application the first thing and the best way to see is it in action so to see that we got the default code default application in our local now and we are ready to at least see it in ui how do we do that we have to type the command ng serve so ng serve We'll compile the application, we'll transpile all the TypeScript code into JavaScript. Don't worry if you're not following any of these high five words, you will start speaking this language in just a bit. So for now, just type ng serve, click enter. So it says you have to be in the project, right? So you need to be inside the project folder, that's CG Agile board, and then now say ng serve. There you are. Now it would start building the application, the default vanilla installation it's compiling. And once it's 100% done, once there are no errors, we should be able to see our default vanilla application up and running. So you should see this message which says compiled successfully. There are no errors, there are no warnings. Everything is good. We are good to see our first output. So the default, a port that it does is local host 4200 so you you can just remember this you can say local host 4200 just copy this this is the url http local host 4200 and we should see our agile board wow that's beautiful welcome you just built your first angular application you can see here our project name is there, Agile Board. Agile Board app is running, up and running. This is a new home page of Angular. You would see the previous one, not that great, but this 
is what uh, is the first default vanilla application you are seeing. Congrats on your first steps. See you on the other side of the next tutorial. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to Arc Tutorials on Angular Tutorials.